no one cares about your studio lighting setup. This is a review of my new studio lights. It's kind of a funny thing we see a lot of YouTubers do is like, oh, I, ha I, got, I got this light, so I got my key light right here, got my accent light here, and then I have to have my backlight here to light up. <sighs> People put so much effort and energy into making their lighting and everything set up so well that, is that really the point? Is that why we come to YouTube to watch things? We don't care what the lighting setup is. We just want a good story. We want to laugh. We want to learn something. We want people to get to the point, kind of like what I'm not doing right now. So this, what you see right now, is what I've pretty much built my entire channel off of as far as lighting. I got a big window right there, and I have a ring light up, up there. And it works. Uh, I, I've been able, I think you've been able to see me in videos before, but it could look better, couldn't it? So the issue I have with the window light is that clouds happen sometimes. And I do like to set things manually on my camera. So when I'm just running off of you know, nature's softbox up there, it, it, it tends to give me some problems. So sometimes I've set up a reflector, like right right there, and I point a shop light, like a $20 shop light from Lowe's off of the reflector, and it usually looks pretty nice, but we have something new to test. So I recently purchased the ESDDI Softbox Photography Lighting Kit. It comes with two stand lights that I'm gonna set up and an 800 watt bulb, and two probably, I bet there's two 800 watt bulbs. And so notice how this looks. And remember, window lighting and ring light up there. And you're about to witness the difference now. <laughs> okay, I have to admit, this does look pretty cool. So I have my one softbox right there, kind of bouncing off of my wall and reflecting back onto me. And this other one is up over here being like an accent light or all of that annoying stuff I talked about before. Um, and this is a review of these lights. As far as the ease of use, it couldn't be simpler. You take them out, you set it up just like a tripod, you screw in a light bulb, and like this big cover goes over the entire box and it works super, super well. Now, I don't know exactly how I wanna set these up. Like it's coming in and hitting the back. I think that looks kind of cool. I'm gonna move this real quick, w one second. Okay, does that look any better? I think I might like that better. I don't know. The accent light looked good, but this uh, shows off my um, my me a little bit nicer. Um, I'm gonna take down this one light, so the lighting situation is gonna get worse real quick. So check this out if this is something that you want for either like a Zoom meeting to look a little bit more professional, or if you are doing some sort of YouTube or talking to a camera in your in your kitchen like I am. These lights, I think, look really excellent. Uh, I'm gonna take this one down and show you guys how it works. All right, so this is what the big box looks like, and it comes on this stand, which is super easy to adjust. You just, you just unscrew this screw right here, and then you can fold these legs up, and it gets nice and compact, whichever way you do it, and... As far as this light box itself goes, if you see right here, there's a little bit of Velcro, which takes off this diffuser. And in here, you have this big old 800 watt white light bulb, which as you can tell the color that it gives off is super nice and super easy to color balance and really stable and consistent. Now these lights are affordable. I, I bought them for right about $60 and a lot of these kits that you can find on Amazon through my affiliate links down below are going to be over a hundred, even over like $200 for a really simple thing that's not even adjustable. So these are definitely on the more affordable side. Some of the things it's lacking is the ability to adjust the brightness. So you're just stuck with what you have. And also you can't change the white balance. It's set to that constant 
daylight white, but it is consistent, so that is really nice. This light can also be oriented vertically or horizontally, depending on what you want to use it for. And so far, for what I'm doing with it, it works super well. I'm a big fan. The one complaint I have is... This cord, the power cord for it, it's... I. I think it's like five feet long and all the way extended this light can sit up over six feet tall so when it's all the way extended this power cord doesn't even reach the ground so just know that if you are looking to buy this light in particular if you want to move it away from a wall or your power source at all you will have to use an extension cord it's not a big deal because these lights are affordable you can buy a five dollar extension cord and move it around your room but it's just annoying. I wish this had like a 12 foot cord. That is my only complaint. Other than that, these things are working fantastically. So these are advertised as a softbox photography lighting kit. So I figured it would be good to actually do a little bit of photography and see how bright they are. I'm shooting on the Canon R5 with the 35 millimeter 1.8 lens. How fast of a shutter speed will having both of these lights on me allow me to get? Let's find out. I wanted to see what different shutter speeds would happen at different ISOs and how they could actually be used if you were just in like a blank studio and only had these two lights. So I grabbed my weird little fidget spinner toy so that we could see the different motion blurs that would happen at different ISOs with this lighting setup. And looking into these images, uh, I'm going to start off at uh, ISO 100 with my 35 millimeter lens shooting wide open at f 1.8 i had to shoot at 1 13th of a second and as you can see that is no good as far as motion blur is concerned uh at iso 200 i was at 1 25th of a second at iso 400 i was at 1 50th iso 800 is about 1 one 100th of a second iso 1600 was about 1 200th of a second ISO 3200 was 1 to 50th and you guys understand how exposure math works from there. So clearly these lights are not as bright as a strobe or a flash. What these could be used for however is something like portraiture if you're shooting uh, on a tripod and you the model is staying still you could shoot down around ISO 400 or maybe 800 and get nice images with this setup so it's something I think these lights could be really helpful for is being those accent lights that are hitting your subject a little bit differently and then maybe you have a main strobe popping off for the majority of the exposure um, so for photography Eh, but for videography, where you're shooting at lower shutter speeds, these aren't, maybe aren't great for something like slow motion, but if you're shooting even 60 frames per second, these lights are bright enough where you could shoot at 120th of a second, so you have your nice motion blur and everything. Everything will look super clean and super nice. So they're not the perfect light. I don't love how short that cord is. I wish you could change the color on them a little bit, but for the price, they're super affordable and this looks way better than the setup I had before. So for video, I'm giving these lights a solid four out of five stars and I will be using them a whole bunch in the future. Another nice thing is that they tear down really easily. They're compactable. So I have a couple of video shoots for a wedding coming up this year and these lights will definitely be coming with me to add a little bit more light to the reception or whatever I need them to because I can just fold them up, bring them, bring my extension cord and uh, add a lot of nice daylight colored light to my videos. So thank you guys for watching. If you are interested in picking up these lights, links down below, that would help me out a bunch. Please always with the likes, the thumbs ups, the comments and the subscribes, all those things I ask you to do. And if you would like to support what I do financially, I have links down below for my buy me a coffee account. And there you can buy me a coffee, which costs you five bucks, or you can buy me a hundred coffees if you feel like it. And that would be really appreciated. Thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Alex McGregor. Someday the stars will be out. I'll see you there.